Mel's husband Don is home for the weekend. Pen name yeah. Basquiola. Yeah, and can I just make sure there's no garlic or onion in that, please? No. And Mel's being picky with her prebiotics. So the FODMAP's been going awesome and it's got me back to normal. So okay. now I feel normal. So the other day, Joanna got me to try onion. Yeah. So I went home and had it for dinner. And within 20 minutes, I was literally like running to the toilet. I was killed over. So it's funny how onion did that to you. Yeah, well, considering how much I eat onion, how many yeah. barbecues do we have? Uh, even Melissa looks amazing. She's lost so much weight. She's feeling better about herself. <laughs> For her to tell me that she's had <laughs> such a change and she's normal again, you know, that's a big thing. Don't burp you on my back. Yes. The bird just pooed on me. <laughs> and on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> With onions off the menu, life's changed for the better. I've genuinely been feeling brilliant in every, you know, area. I think, like, emotionally and everything as well, I just, I'm coping with everything so much better. <laughs> when Mel doesn't have the shit, she gets shut on. <laughs> we can't say that Melissa's improvement is a result of the changes in her microbiome, but as scientists uncover new connections between gut bacteria and our health, our understanding of these pathways will become clearer. And that's the promise of the gut revolution. I don't think it will be very long until we do start to get some understanding of, of what might comprise a healthy gut microbiota. So I think that that's in the near future. I think the understanding that people respond to diet very differently and that we can actually start to predict that if we've got information on people's microbiota, that's really exciting because then we can start to move towards personalised nutrition and personalised medicine. And I think that that is the future. I've been having some email communication with Melissa and I'm really pleased with how she's going. She's describing this as life changing. When I get somebody emailing me saying, I quote, I can't explain the value of life I'm getting back and my self-confidence, to hear her say that when she was clearly in such a bad place before, you know, that's amazing. Get the knees a good work, yeah. So let's put in. It's an exciting time to be a dietitian. And the big insight for me is that we're not just eating for ourselves, we're also eating for our microbiomes. And getting that right can make all the difference. <laughs> See, I've changed so much in the last, like, three weeks. I'm not as tired as I was anymore. I'm not depending on things to get me through the day. I think just feeling good in myself is something I haven't felt in such a long time that now it's kind of opening up all the doors. To be able to feel good about myself in all aspects and then come out and do something that I genuinely love to do, like money can't buy that feeling. <laughs>